for being here. I'm going to ask you a couple of specific questions about um, the incident that we've been discussing here today, and then I want to talk more generally, I think, about the, the agency. That, uh, as best I can tell, um, a layman summary of this is that a woman dropped off what she said was a bomb at 1024 on a Wednesday night. Yet it looks like the be on the lookout order didn't go out until Thursday afternoon at 415. Is that, does that delay surprise you? Is that ordinary course of business? Is that unusual? I can't confirm. I'm going to ask my staff if that's the actual time frame for that to go out. Well, let's assume for sake of discussion that okay. it is. Would that be too long? It would be too long. Have you all looked into why? Because it, 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 I, I can assure you it did take that long. I'm looking at the document in front of me. I'd be happy to share it with you. Have you investigated why that happened yet? Uh, our uh, investigative office certainly will <clears throat> investigate why it. They're going to look at the whole process. Whole thing. But, you've, but you've talked to your folks about this, right? I mean, you said you've talked to your senior folks about it. You've done perhaps not an, a formal investigation, but you've asked them why, right? On the, uh, on the incident revolving the, uh, the, the lady throwing the suspicious package, yeah. I have talked to uh, our people about that. I've been briefed on the, uh, the incident. But you still don't have any idea why it took that long to put on the be on, be on the lookout order? I don't know why it took that long, no. And then, and again, I'm just coming to this issue for the first time, you found her the Friday morning, the, the woman who, th who threw a package at the White House and then ran over a Secret Service agent with an open car door she was speeding while you found her on Friday morning at a hotel in Virginia. Your agents talked to her in the lobby of the hotel while she's having breakfast, and they didn't detain her. Were you aware of that? I am aware of it after being briefed, yes. Why didn't they detain her? I'm going to make an assumption here, other than the fact that there was no arrest warrant out. The, uh, the arrest warrant uh, came out the following day, I believe. How long should it take you to get a warrant for somebody who throws a bomb at the White House? Well, the other factors here, uh, again, making an assumption, is that at this point we know their books. We know that she has a, um, a history with the Secret Service, uh, and she has been interviewed in the past. Uh, she does have a history, so you knew who she was. The, the arrest warrant, by the way, didn't go out until the following Tuesday. It took you seven days to get the warrant to, to arrest this lady, which takes me to the next step in the, in, 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 the, in the timeline. On Saturday, she was arrested by local police in Virginia, and the local police um, called your PIOC, and the PIOC told the local police that the suspect is no longer a Secret Service, on the Secret Service lookout. Were you aware of that? I was not. Does that strike you as something unusual and strange and perhaps wrong? It, it does. Um, I'm not sure why she would not be a uh, lookout. And I, I guess we could, I, I don't want to pile on, Mr. Clancy, because I know it's been a rough day for you, but I, I would hope that but th this has been a month now since this happened. You knew it was a high-profile event. Now, granted, a lot of the attention went to what happened with the officers that evening, but still, a woman threw a bomb at the White House, or at least something she said was a bomb when she, when she dropped it off. It turned out that it wasn't. Um, and for you at this point, sir, not to know these details is a little disappointing to me, but we'll leave that for another day. Let me ask you my general question. Sir. You've been there 27 years. You seem like a very dedicated public service, and I thank you for your service. I, don't, I think people undervalue folks like you and what you do for this nation. Has it always been this bad? No, sir. What changed? Sir, I've got, I, I don't know that answer. I, I wish I did. Uh, I know there was great dedication when I was younger, and I think there is, I know there's great dedication now. I honestly believe it's a smaller element of people that are not satisfied. And, and again, it goes back to how we're treating our people, you know, and they're getting crushed, some of them, with the hours because the staffing is so limited. And we're up for some real challenges as we go into uh, the fall here with the Pope's visit and the UN. That is going to be a tremendous challenge, which again is going to create a tremendous burden on our workforce. And I think that's part of it too. I think that the demands on the workforce as our mission has um, somewhat expanded, but primarily our staffing levels haven't kept up. And I think that's, that's affecting our morale. Uh, but I don't want to dismiss the leadership. You know, uh, we, leadership is a key part of this too, and that's something that I've got to correct and got to work on. But the staffing levels, which we're making some, some headway to, uh, I think that's going to help 
uh, over, over time. Well, let's look at that together. Let me ask you one last question, Mr. Clancy, just out of curiosity. Was it better when you all were under Treasury? Is that part of the problem here that you're under Homeland now and not Treasury? Well, again, I, I was a young agent, a uh, young manager when we were under Treasury, so I don't know those relationships and how that worked during, those time, during that time frame. So I, I wouldn't be able to give a good uh, answer on that. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.